so let's talk about this. Seventy-four percent of Americans are stressed out about finances. Um, are we on the verge of a crisis? I don't think we are. But to, since we're speaking about uh, presidents, I think it would behoove you to maybe get together with some guys that can teach the United States how to win in this stock market every single week. Um, I don't think we're there on a crisis, but the fact that even people that make one hundred and seventy-five thousand to two hundred thousand dollars a year are considering themselves feeling like they're poor, we need to find a way to fix that problem really quickly. Um, I know that they're supposed to cut rates, but when the average car payment is now 750, most cars are costing 70 grand and up. Rent is unaffordable. Shout out to my parents. Daycare costs, childcare, tuition for schools are higher than ever. We need to begin to find a way to fix this before this gets out of hand, because I haven't felt most people have this kind of despair in a long time. Like things even got politically so bad at one point, like Tea Party members and Black Lives Matter members were thinking of getting together to rally together. You know what kind of financial duress <laughs> it would take for like Umar and Alex Jones to like get along. And be like, bro, we need to team up. Like, it's unrest at the highest level. So I don't think we're there at a crisis level yet. Um, but I'm interested to see what the Christmas shopping season looks like, how retailers are affected. That will give us a better sign. But if this isn't fixed in two or three years, we could see some trouble um, amongst the economy, for sure. But what do you guys think? Um, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's definitely, uh, you know, a different world that we live in like you said you know average car payment is like 700 dollars now um and yeah you know it just put something on instagram that you know, millennials are saying that you need at least five hundred thousand dollars a year um to, to feel comfortable as a millennial hmm. and um that's a lot of pressure i thought the 500 hundred dollar date was pressure so i gotta make five hundred thousand a year to oh baby that's tough yeah, so you know, I think in AI everything is just going to accelerate. The rich are going to get richer, and the poor are going to get poor, and you're going to see that the wealth gap, you know, just you know, grow. And um, is 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 what we're seeing right now. You know, is a lot of people making a lot of money, um, and then there's a lot of people that are struggling. So yeah. uh, as people are making more money, um, that's only going to continue to to you know grow, and. The people that are, are struggling and probably continue to struggle even more, you know, yeah. replacements of jobs and different things of that nature. So it's going to be, you know, probably a difficult situation for a lot of people for sure. Yeah. Education is the key. Um, tuning into shows like this, uh, reading, it's, it's the only thing, right? I feel like financial crisis in our communities, that's been every year. It's right? been every year. For every, real. every year feels like a, a financial crisis because we've been in survival mode for so long. Um, and with education. But it's cross up enough to cut you off to other races now. They're feeling our plight. Right. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we have a certain set of skills to be in these conditions and make good of it and try to figure ways out. And every now and then you'll you'll start to see people come out of it. Um, but education is is the great equalizer. It's the thing that can change our circumstance. It can change everybody's circumstance to a certain sense. So it doesn't matter which demographic or what ethnic background you're from. If education is part of of the daily diet, that can help alleviate some of, some of that distress when it comes to finance. Um, so yeah. yeah, man, education. Educate yourself in a multitude of ways, not just you know podcasts. Read. Uh, put yourself in networking networks with people who have brilliant ideas and have like minds. Um, it, it, it's the only way. It really is the only way. Combination. Like it, my shout out to my guy. He moving. Him and his girl went to something, so he got to find another place. And he looked and he like, yo, I'm gonna put down fifteen, sixteen thousand for just in deposit mm. for a two bedroom in New York. I'm like, hold your head, everybody in New York. What? Yeah, I think I, was, I said I sent you that article, right? It was I think it, that was in um, Business Insider. We're talking about there's a large percent of people who are living in homes but are separated because they can't afford to leave the partner, and so they're just cohabiting in the same place, even though they're not together because financially they can't afford to leave each other, which is a real situation. Boy, there, there been some long sit in the car days. Boy, you can't even go. <laughs> Woo, baby. Yeah, baby, I was on the market Mondays. That, that's why I was in the car so long. That's tough. Overtime on top of overtime. Yeah, that's tough. 
tough. tough. But these are this is the reality for some people, man. So yeah. Also, yeah. too, the other side of it, I'm not gonna do the Kim Kardashian, but this is why we get up every day and work hard. Like hey, I'll see me popping out more. Hey, let me go network, shake hands, let me build unity. Cool. Got off the plane. Shout to JR, shout to uh uh Jonathan. One, one, one saw the boy real quick. Let me go. I'm out here shaking hands, kissing babies. You do, combination, combination. You need all of it. My networking. Nice. You better go t- tune into T Grizzly. See how you get a hundred grand a month off GTA. Go listen to the episode. How to put the merch? Get your Invest Fest tickets. You got to do everything right now as an entrepreneur to make sure that you'll be okay and invest for the long term. So, how do we find a stock like uh, Nvidia for 2024? Great question. Uh, somebody on Twitter asked me this, and the true answer is, um, it's all the boring things that pays the highest dividend. Like number one, I would go look at everything that A16Z is invested in. Not just Chris was on the show, but I would like look at the top three venture capital firms. Literally print out their entire portfolio, of what they're invested in. See the ones that can have the biggest impacts from every sector. I think in the next. 10 years and a rule if they're not acquired by northrop or lockheed they'll probably be one of the biggest defense companies of all time so if they become available to ipo i would love to invest in um spacex we've talked about starlink we've talked about you have to go look at the the new crop so you know like when the, they do the freshman double xl cover this is the investor's version of that go to andreessen horowitz go see which is coming next what impact they'll have and also, too, like in that defense and military space, the margins are a lot higher, a lot less competition, um, a lot more intellectual property that you cannot copy. So um, I'm normally not excited about the defense space, but they're a combination of tech and defense. Um, so I do definitely have my sights set on that company. But also, too, the biggest players and the biggest the next nvidia will probably be invested in by microsoft or apple or google mm-hmm. if you're buying any of the big three you're gonna have exposure to it anyway the biggest companies on earth right now have turned themselves into index funds you don't think what all like okay if i keep saying apple and microsoft you don't think satya doesn't know how much value he brings to vanguard and blackrock etfs they're like let's just acquire the companies and build our own index and that's what everyone is doing um I was talking to Joe. Hey, what's up with the Apple thing? He was like, you know, if you bring a project to Apple, they now want you to bring four shows over there. Index. And they get the 35% on the back end for four years. Legal mafia, legal cartel. So invest in Apple, Microsoft, Google. They'll invest in the biggest companies. But to find out which company will be next, go look at Andreessen Horowitz. Um yeah. Kleiner Perkins and see what they're investing in. That's the easy way to get a heads up. All right. I, I think that you have to set realistic expectations. Um, so right that let, let's start True. Here, right. NVIDIA went up 216%. So will you find a company that does that? Maybe. Um, but Maybe. Not a company that does 70%. I mean, that's, that's a win. That's really good, right? And 50% is really good. So I wrote down like just five things you can do. Like if you're a beginner, if you're looking at it. So the first thing is find a company or sector that you understand, right? Or a sector that's emerging. One of those three things. You understand, right? That is emerging, right? Either a stock or a sector. Number two, to determine their competitive advantage, right? So figure out what they do that nobody else can do, right? This is their Absolutely. move. That's number two. Number three, find out if they are profitable, right? If they have growth if their earnings have growth here's a percentage that you should use if their earnings growth is between eight to ten percent this is a good sign right yeah the next thing you do this is number four look at their debt right this is if you're looking at a company. if their debt has yep. gone down f- from the previous year this is another good sign good right? sign well, the, number five i want you to put their ticker into uh, yahoo finance anywhere and look at their chart Right. If we start to see that mountain starting to climb, we see it depreciate over a five year, over a 10 year, over a one. This is a good sign. We don't want to see charts that are too rocky. Right? Yeah. So yeah. You don't want the, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. It's from the eye test. You want a quality a, 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 incline over time. Those are five things you can do. Will it hit 216 percent? I don't know. But yeah, 
a 50 percent gain is a is a great amazing a great one and you can find companies like that for sure this, this day red panda anthem and what's up this day red panda anthem red panda what's good day.